Hello everyone, this is Tim and welcome. Sorry that this is a little late for you this week. Uh, this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week of September 22nd through September 28th. I promise I'm going to do my best to try and get these out to you um, rather earlier than late, unfortunately, like this week. I've just been super busy working about 70 hours. I uh, will be for the next four weeks doing a lot of metaphysical events, so I'm very thrilled and happy about that. So let's get to this. So um, I thought I would use the uh, Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle by Lucy Cavendish and the Magical Messages from the Fairies by Doreen Virtue. And I wanted to use this because this upcoming weekend on the 28th and the 29th, this is actually going, I'm sorry, the 27th and the 28th of this weekend, I'm going to be at um, Emmenegger nature park and kirkwood and we've got our midwest crystal festival there so i'm going to be out there doing angel card and tarot card readings fairy card readings this weekend so i'm looking forward to that so let's go ahead and get you going here i've already pre-selected the cards randomly here and let's see what we've got here for the first part of the week well love it spiritual teacher and it says your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. So um, I love the card here because this is you've got the wonderful fairy here and you've got all of the rabbits and the nature animals sitting around. And she's uh, teaching them about all the spirituality and healing. So this invites you to actually you get to be a spiritual teacher this week or you may actually encounter one of your own. But this is uh, truly about you helping to spread the word and help to help someone in need that may need uh, a spiritual teacher. And this may even be about your life purpose or even a career direction. So you may be teaching others and giving advice or information and vice versa. So a lot of counseling and teaching here. And um, that's really it. great. I like that. And as we get into the middle part and even into the weekend, <laughs> we have travel. And it says an upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. So you may be actually going on a trip to where you will actually experiencing, uh, where you will be experiencing activities such as like a retreat or uh, to a conference of some sort. And so far this really rings true with me because this is exactly what I'm doing this week is um, about spiritual teaching and traveling and I'm gonna be doing that for both days. So it does show traveling in here and also reaching out and really just experiencing and getting outdoors and really connecting. So you may be traveling to a new career or it may be this could be even getting outdoors and taking, you know, some type of a hike trail or going camping and just connecting with nature or even a vacation of some sort. But whatever this may be, the upcoming trip really does prove life changing. So it's almost like you have these epiphanies. I love the, the light in here. And these are all the fairies out here and it really does illuminate the light. So it really does help us to be able to connect and wonderful energy there. And then as we get into the weekend, <laughs> connecting with nature. And it says, you're uh, rejuvenated, inspired by spending time outdoors. Well, I mean, this is, when I'm looking at this, I mean, this is really for me, this is totally amazing that all of this is really connected with not only I think myself but I feel all of us that this is this is for sure what's happening with me but I really feel that this is about the energy for this week of all of us really need to get outside and connect with nature especially with the uh, in the in the states here where uh, we've now entered into our um, the first day of fall this uh, week coming through here. So getting outdoors in the cooler weather and connecting with nature and really experiencing all the beauty that it has to offer. So this again, this is also about, you know, taking a hike or just spending some time near water, whether it be even taking care of outdoor activities even around your own home. So this may be uh, pulling out all of the spring and summer plants and planting the fall and winter plants that are that may be in and around your home and taking care of your pets and just kind of you know this is this is a wonderful ex energy that i'm feeling with this here now the wild wisdom 
This here, Barnabas and the Prince, and this is about adventures, discovery, again, another travel card, and meeting destiny. So, you know, I really like the travel and meeting destiny because especially with this travel, this tells me that um, there's a very significant person or an event that shall occur throughout this travel of this week. So this card actually really means that it's a, it could be a dream, a vocation, success, or a purposeful activity is reaching out for you, just as though you've reached out for it. So it says to use your power of your voice to call for it. Let the world and the natural world know that you wish for them to deliver. So this could even be seeking out a mate or uh, actively searching for a soulmate, searching for you, synchronicity. So in order for you to be in alignment with your dreams, for your dream to dream you, you must be walking the right path and be in the right place at the right time. So this card reminds you that staying in your present comfort zone will not bring about that which is your heart that is desiring, okay, and what you yearn for. You must become active and creative. So this is really manifesting here too. And we've got the new moon energy this week too. So this really is about getting outdoors and really utilizing that manifestation energy. Okay, keeping your thoughts positive. This is a one and a one. A one is all about keeping your thoughts positive because what we think is what we become attracted, what is attracted to us. So this is all about the adventures and the destiny and the um, meeting destiny is all through our thoughts and our actions. So make sure you keep those thoughts positive. Interesting with the soulmate, I'm noticing that this is the the, the frog prince here. So it's like kissing the frog and the frog turns into the, this magical prince. So yeah, this could be kind of fun for some of us, you know, especially if we are seeking a life partner or, you know, really seeking a soulmate in some aspect of a like-minded friend even. And as we look at this card here, this one is the fairy wishing well. And this is, wow, manifestation, expectations, and offerings. So really very much a manifesting week and our gifts of being able to do so. So this this really is about um, manifesting and bringing in all of that of which we desire. And a lot of that is through getting outdoors and connecting with higher-minded, higher-like individuals that are like-minded, that are very spiritual in nature. And this card here with the wishing well is just really about, it demonstrates that uh, we have mastered the making of money in some respect and we've learned of its ability to affect family prestige and standing and we've allowed it to come into our life and we have seen some of the impact that it can have but we've learned to allow it to flow like waters of the well and to trust that all our needs are divinely taken care of have we done that okay so this card while showing us that creating with money is definitely something we are working at mastering it reminds us that we may get caught up in that process and forget to an extent about the source, which is ourselves and our connection with God and creator, the source. So it's the magic circle of your coin. So it's saying is the magic circle of your coin ignited spiritually as well as materially. Okay. And what is it that you are creating with your prosperity? So ponder these questions without judgment and love being connected to both the source and the outcome. Love the energy of this week. So I hope this connects with you. Boy, this really rings true with me. So uh, I hope you have a blessed week. Get out there, connect with the fairies, and enjoy your week, and namaste. See you next week.